everyone. Um, so today's devotion is from our first daily devotion books, and it's from day 18, day 18, which is called A Crop of Righteousness, which sounds um, very fancy and possibly a little bit of a little bit intimidating. Um, the writer references two scriptures, one from 2 Corinthians 9, 10 through 11, and one from Psalm 139, verse 14. I'm going to read, they're pretty short, so I'm going to read them to you really quick. The Corinthian scripture says, he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and incre sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way for your great generosity, which will produce thanksgiving to God through us. For the rendering of this ministry not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also overflows with many thanksgivings to God. And the psalm is one we've heard all heard quite a few times. It's I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know very well. So we're talking about our gifts and the way that we use them. Um, the book goes on to explore the idea that the crop of righteousness has more to do with multiplying our gifts in the world than it has to do with multiplying our financial wealth or our physical wealth. The writer actually asks in the, on page 61, could it be that the crop God wants us to produce isn't primarily a physical thing? And there's a part of me that really appreciates this. I like the idea that our connection to the divine is um, a little bit mystical and it's beyond more than what I can feel and I can touch and I can see in this world. Um, there's something mystical to where God might be calling me. However, um, I never want to lose sight of the fact that without my physical needs being met, that the mystical isn't quite as attainable. I can't think much about my deep spirituality um, if I'm hungry or if I'm cold or if I'm unsheltered or my physical needs aren't being met. It is indeed a bit of a privilege to be overly worried about my, um, about my spiritual health and my spiritual callings in some ways. Um, the book goes on to describe when it's talking about use of resources, um, some families who um, cut back on a lot of their financial um, expenditures and saved a lot of money and used their resources to build wells in a village for people who needed them. And um, that's a nice story, and I think it's kind of key. It's um, all well and good for me to be righteous here in my head, um, but that has to motivate me to do something. And if it motivates me to care for the physical needs of others, then we begin to break that cycle. Um, if I can help meet the physical needs for someone else who's struggling, then they're more open and able to use their God-given gifts to offer something mystical and beautiful into our world. So... Um, Otherwise, the world misses out on some beauty that we never knew about, that was never created because it died of hunger or cold or loneliness or some other need that was never met. Um, we lose a lot of beauty in the world because of that. So when I consider my contributions to the, to the church, I consider how all of that can be used to break that cycle and um, so that we can know how beautiful the world actually could be because it allows someone else to fully exist into who they're made and created to be. Um, our mission to eradicate homelessness in physical, emotional, and spiritual forms is really saying that we, we, what we want is the world to be whole and complete and as beautiful as it could be. So I just take that into consideration when reading this today. And I'm going to close with the prayer that's in the book because I think it does say what it needs to say in this moment. Pray with me. Lord, help me see the seeds you have placed in my life. Give me the wisdom and courage to use them in accordance with your will. Help me to trust in your promise that the crop of righteousness that you produce in me will bring greater joy than any material possession. Amen. All right, that's our devotion for today. Thank you.